I'm Claire Daly and I am the first chairwoman of Caversham Trents. I've been involved with Trents for the past 15 years with my children playing football. I've also got my level one where I help out with the under 15s and do the admin for that too. Caversham Trents was founded in 1988. Um, a young lad called Trent Whitehouse was unfortunately knifed to death as he was trying to intervene, uh, be peacemaker in a fight. Um, his friends wanted to do something in his name, so that's how Cavs and Trents came about. And Cavs and Trents is all about, you know, looking after our, our young children and so they're safe in, a, in an environment. <laughs> My name is Thomas Gould, I'm 17 and I've been a referee for four years. I'm Joseph Gregory, I'm 16 and I've been refereeing for two years. I'm Anne Ryan Cheeseworth, aged 15 and I've been a referee for two months. Hi, I'm Alice and I'm 15 and I've been refereeing for less than a year. Uh, so the reason I decided to become a referee was because of mainly the pay um, that is it's a very good paying job compared to most of, the, most of the other jobs that I could get. And also I thought that it would develop my uh, confidence skills, which is essential for uh, when I become older and start working proper jobs. I decided to become a referee because it's a new angle of enjoying football and just getting involved in different sort of action. I decided to become a referee because my club was in a low demand of referees and I thought I could make a bit of extra money on the side. I decided to become a referee because I saw a lot of male referees in the game and I thought, you know, I wanted to see more women in the game and be able to inspire younger girls as well. I think the, the, the behaviour and abuse towards me is certainly inspired by uh, what people have seen on TV in, in the football games, especially in the Premier League. It's so normalised to uh, uh, argue and abuse the referee um, and I think that's definitely something that needs to change in the game. I think the coaches may get a bit of it off of uh, the Premier League or stuff on TV, but you just as a referee, you have to show authority to them and say that you're the boss, and that's that. I do think it comes from the Premier League and everything we see on TV because, again, I'm I'm just a new referee and and I'm not really experienced with all this stuff. So if people try and uh, argue with me like they do on TV, I I don't think I'll be able to handle it as well, so it's not a good decision, I think, to argue with young referees. Becoming a referee has definitely changed the way I behave because you learn that it's not always easy and, you know, it's, the referee is probably just as nervous, is just as nervous as probably you are going into a big game. So I just think it makes you put things into perspective and makes you think about what you say to a referee before you say it. James. Yeah. James. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Chase it down! How are you going Charlie, you want to grab that please? I think it's important for a club like Cavisham Trends to run a Respect the Ref campaign because football should be inclusive and everyone should be able to play. I, for instance, have played since the age of 10 at this club and I know people that have played since they were about five. And coming up through the age groups, you just want to be able to enjoy your football and enjoy the, the beautiful game really and abusing anyone, especially the ref. Um, just. It, it takes something away from that um, and I believe that everyone on the pitch should be enjoying the football and just there to have a good time. I feel it's really important that the club have my back in situations like that because it means that I'm not just fighting against the coaches or the, the opposition club on my own and it shows that I do have support with me. It's important to cap for Caption Trans to support their referees as it will make them feel safer, make the referees feel safer, more, invite more referees to join and it, will, it could over help the club grow in many ways. For us, um, with this Respect the Ref campaign, I think it's important that we are there to protect our young referees. I think it's a nationwide issue and we don't want to lose our young referees so we need to safeguard them and be there to support them along so I hope that many other clubs kind of follow route and do the same. For Respect the Ref campaign we will have posters uh, around by the pitches, uh, we will speak to our coaches and we want them to speak to the opposition and to let them know that we don't tolerate any bad behaviour towards any of our young referees. I have experienced forms of abuse and intimidation while refereeing. I've refed over 50 games and of them, about three of them, I felt intimidated or abused. Um, these mainly came from me making a, a maybe a decision that the other team didn't view with or that in hindsight uh, was controversial. And then after that, it seemed like as if I couldn't do anything right. And then the players were on my back, the coaches were on my back. Um, and it just, it wasn't a positive environment to be in. I have experienced some intimidation on a few occasions. Uh, one being where they've uh, called me names, uh, I won't say on camera, but um, uh, it's been dealt with appropriately and nothing has occurred from it. I've experienced some intimidation and abuse while I've been refereeing. Uh, for example, um, once I gave a penalty to the opposing side and the manager rushed onto the pitch and confronted me and called me like called me a bad referee and I made a wrong and that I made a wrong decision. I haven't really experienced any abuse because I'm quite lucky in the sense that I coach younger teams, um, younger girls teams where the coaches are very respectful and usually they keep all the parents under control as well. So yeah, not really, no. I always get nervous before refereeing because I don't want to make the wrong decisions or, you know, because I go back to the same club, I don't want to, you know, make them think oh, I'm a bad ref or anything. So it's, I just find it a bit uh, frustrating with if there's adults who are um, intimidating young refs because it's meant to be a fun game, it's a kid's game, so I just think it's a bit out of order. Millie Hayhurst, age 18 producer of this documentary and I was a referee for two years with Calvish and Trance. I was passionate about doing this documentary because during the two years that I was refereeing I received a lot of abuse which eventually made me quit due to the stress and the toll it had on my mental health. I think it's great that Calvish and Trance are doing this Respect the Ref campaign. I think it's great that Calvish and Trance are doing this Respect the Ref campaign as Young referees have a lot of stress going on in their lives 
whether that's exams or schoolwork or whatever it is they're going up have going on in their lives and sport should be a type of therapy for people and Cavs and Trent's their core values is making football a therapy for young children. Ultimately everybody including parents, coaches and players need to understand that without a referee there is no game.